In this video, I want to explore using ChatGPT to build out an entire website without writing a single line of code. We're going to combine it with EditorX and I'm going to build an accounting website. ChatGPT is going to help me fill out the content, plan out the website and then implement it all. Let's have a look how this is possible. I'm going to start on Google and I'm going to head over to the OpenAI website. Here we're going to log into ChatGPT, which you can select at the very top. I already have an account, so I'm going to log in using my Google credentials and it's going to take me straight into ChatGPT. Here I'm going to write a prompt that will basically create a website for me. So I want to here have, uh, let's see, can you please create the outline of a website for an accounting uh, firm called Downs Accounting. Great. So this is a cool little website, a Downs Accounting homepage. So we've got a bit of information here. We've got uh, introduction, highlights, contact information, as well as a call to action. We're also going to have a service page detailed with descriptions of what they do. Uh, we've got some information, pricing. We'll have an about us page with biographies, a history of the firm, testimonials again. We'll have a news and resource section with articles and blog posts. We'll also do links to external resources, information for upcoming events, and finally a contact us page where we can fill out some forms for visitors as well as map and directions. So this is a pretty good outline for a website already. We're going to start off with this home page. So let's now see if we can expand on this. And let's see here if we can do right uh, planning out of the home page, write a, uh, I suppose, hero title uh, tagline, uh, then, then move on to the call to action with three main items. Oh, actually, no, uh, let's actually put in um, with a strong call to action button. Yeah, I think that should do. All right, let's select to enter for that. So here is a possible hero title, tagline and call to action. So we've got a title here, expert guidance to financial success, tagline, trusted advisors for your accounting needs. And ChatGPT has also said the call to action can be contact us today. So that's pretty good enough for me to already get started. So now let's jump into a no coding tool. This one will be editor X and let's start recreating this website and see what that looks like. All right. So I'm going to head over to editorx.com. Uh, just like before, I'm going to log in and create a new website. So I've already logged in using my Google. Well, login once again, I'm going to select here, create a new site. Now I've got the two options here between editor X and Wix. This being also something that Wix has created. I'm going to select editor X in this case, and then I'm going to maybe have a look if there are any accounting style websites or templates that I could possibly use here as part of this. Um, if there aren't, I just might make it myself, but uh, this one here for fitness one, maybe might work. Hmm. I'm not too sold on it just yet. Uh, so what I'm thinking is maybe I'll just create my own. I'm going to select to start with a blank canvas. Now for this, I might use some of the pre-made assets that come as part of editor X, but uh, let's have a look. Here's our page ready to go. It's currently quite empty. So the first thing I'm going to do is select to add and I might just pull in a composition. Here's a good one, which has a bit of text an image as well as a button. And I'm going to start customizing it. Now, right now, these images don't really look like they have to do with accounting. So I'm just going to go accounting in here for the image changer. And I'm going to select something that I can probably use in these areas, as well as a maybe better background image of, I suppose, I don't know, some paperwork that should do, I guess. Now we can start utilizing, well, the prompts that we've got here from ChatGPT. So I'm going to copy over this hero title and I'm going to paste it into here. I'm going to grab this tagline over here and I'm also going to paste this into the tagline section. And finally, I'm going to grab the call to action, which I'm going to place here in for the button. 
Now for the button, it's still a little bit uh, small, I suppose. I'm just going to expand it out to utilize the full size here. And immediately we've got something of a design. I think I can probably make this image look a little bit better by maybe saying setting the opacity to say 10%. That way it blends in a little bit better with the content here. And uh, for this image right now, the perspective isn't uh, that great. So I could, for example, go into the settings here. I could, uh, I suppose, do something that goes keep the aspect ratio or even fit to the bound of the box. So I think that would work a little bit better because right now here, I don't really like stretched images. I think it's stretched. Is it just me? I'm not too sure. Uh, fit fill bounding of the box yeah i think that's fine uh let's actually expand this out here uh yeah that's that's fine so now we've got our hero section done uh, let's actually check what this looks like on different viewports so i can shrink this down and it works just fine i can shrink it down here to almost a mobile version the only thing that's not working perfectly is this button uh, i think for this one here, there is a little option where I can do docking and I'm just going to dock it from the left and right hand side. I think that should fix its mobile responsiveness. Yes, that's fixed it. And already we have a hero section done with GPT basically assist assisting us. So we don't have some filler text. We actually have something useful that we could have for an accounting company here. Now, previously, we're going to have a number of pages here. We're going to have home services about news and contact. So let's actually create those pages, which should be as easy as going here over to pages and creating them. I'm gonna to select to add a page. This can be contact us. Let's add another one. Uh, and I think if we go through here, let's do news as another page. So I'm gonna to select to rename that one. Uh, then another one in chat GTP we had about us. So let's create a, that page too. There we go. Uh, then we'll have another page here called services. So let's actually pull that in and add that in too. Now, all of these pages are currently empty and the menu items don't even show them. So I'm going to add them here into the menu. So let's add site page. Let's add all the pages and let's close that off. And then we can actually head back over to our home page here. And we can see that uh, this menu stays relevant for all our pages, but uh, the actual active item changes based on the page you're on. So that's pretty cool. Now let's fill out maybe some small services as part of the home page to fill that content out a bit more. I'm going to select to add here. I'm going to head over to some services examples. We've got a few different types of templates ready to go for us. And what I'm thinking is maybe just this one over here, which seems to fit in with the design. So if we've got our services and then it's got three different services. So let's actually ask ChatGPT to fill that out for us. Here I'm going to put in a uh, create home page section content for a services section uh, have an intro to what services are and then three main services with a title and description for each all right i think that sort of describes what i'm after so here it says, here's a possible section on the services on the homepage of Downs Accounting. We've got the introduction to the services. That's pretty cool. Uh, then the services themselves. So we've got tax preparation. So ChatGPT has written out an example of that, as well as financial planning and whatnot. So I'll keep it running here in the background. And I'm going to even start filling this out. I'm going to paste this in. Then we're going to jump in here. Uh, so we've got our services, Downs Accounting, we offer a comprehensive range of services. So that's already filled it out. It's even got a call to action. And then we've got these three services in here. So for the very first one, I think it was tax preparation. Let me copy that in this section over here. Uh, then I'm going to copy over this text. Let's push that in here. Now we can see that we're getting some sort of weird text happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to undo because I think I'm copying over the bullet points. I'm just going to paste this into a plain section so that the styling doesn't copy across. Uh, so I'm just pasting it here into the nav bar. Uh, and then I'll paste that in. So that looks like it came across quite well. 
Uh, let's grab the second one, which is financial planning. I'm going to copy paste of that one in here and copy paste that in as well. Uh, and the final one here, what was that auditing? All right, that's an interesting one, but I guess that's what accounting companies do. I'll paste that in here as the last item. And it's even got a final bit of text here. Uh, and this final bit of text, I guess I could copy this part of the section. Uh, we could do a, I suppose, a three by one section, maybe. Uh, let's do other, let's do three rows. Apply, and I might just copy this one stack that we have as part of this section and paste it in here. And then maybe uh, what we offer, and we can copy this last bit here by choosing down accountings. We've got like a nice final bit to the services. So that's really cool. The only other part here is I guess we could use better images. So again, I can go to change image, I can go to accounting and I can pick three accounting images for this services section. Now I've done this in just like five to 10 minutes, not even that. Let's actually have a look that it does make sense. And uh, I'm going to select to uh, publish this. I'm going to call this downs accounting. And I think that should work. So you could even have a look at this website right now yourself. Before I move forward, I also want to make sure that the mobile responsiveness for this new services section is working. So let me see if I can shrink it down to say a tablet size. And that looks perfectly fine. And even down all the way to a mobile version looks good. And this is the strength of combining now tools like OpenAI with ChatGPT, with things like Editor X, basically allowing you to create websites in 10 minutes, five minutes. Now, there are quite a few different things that you can do with ChatGPT in terms of building websites, not just helping with the content, but even helping improve the content you might already have. So for example, we've got this title here for expert guidance for your financial success. This title is actually quite quite large for this section of the website. And I might want a shorter title. I'm going to jump back into chat GPT here and I'm going to say reduce the length of this title. And let's make sure we spell length properly uh, to fit into a smaller website design. And there's the title. Now let's see how chat GPT handles that. Uh, it's possible to have a shorter version expert guidance for success. That's a shorter version. I think that makes sense. Let's actually copy paste that in and see how that fits in. So that's now three lines and I think that works better. And then I'm going to do the same here for the contact button, which is a little bit too long. Uh, do the same for this text on a button, which is too long. And let's see if ChatGPT just does that for us. I guess a shorter version would just be contact us. Uh, it says here, contact us can be shortened to, uh, well, it's removed the word day, I suppose. Um, let's actually copy that in, I guess that could be better. It's not as short as I would have liked, but I guess at least it provides more context there. So that's an example of how we can do, I suppose, shortening of content, but we can do the reverse as well, such as in this tagline here, we could say increase the length of this tagline. And I suppose, yeah, I think that should be enough. Let's see what ChatGPT does. So it says one possible longer version of trusted advisors is, well, that's a much longer version. But uh, I think it's too long. Trusted advisors. Uh, yeah, uh, please make it at least two sentences. All right, let's try again. So with ChatGPT, we can continuously see if we can improve the content it provides. So here I haven't given enough context. So I'm going to actually copy this text in. I say, I can say this sentence here, can you please lengthen this to at least two sentences? All right, let's see what it comes back with. So sure, here is a longer version of this tagline and then add downs can uh, accounting were dedicated to providing expert guidance as trusted advisors 
Wow, that is much longer. Let's see how it fits into this website. I'm gonna paste it in here. And now I think it's almost too long. But here we could, for example, just remove the last part. Now it's three lines long. Uh, I think that looks much better. It fits in much nicer with this design. And this now is a pretty good call to action title and tagline. We could do the same here for services as well as even creating entire pages for the services based on the outputs that ChatGPT are providing for us. Now, a lot of this is just the beginning. Obviously, ChatGPT could be used to write entire blogs and articles and sections for websites, but this should be enough of an idea for you guys to start playing around with it yourself. If you guys want the link to ChatGPT, it's entirely free and I'll add it in the link in the description. And if you wanna check out EditorX, I'll add that in as well. Otherwise, make sure you guys hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.